Hello, my friend, and welcome to another video. Thank you for stopping by my channel. My name is Sam, AKA Sir underscore Beardface on the Instagrams. And today we're talking about roof nest versus eye camper. We're talking about rooftop tents. If you're in the market or if you're considering switching it up, I'm gonna go through in this video and highlight the differences between the brands roof nest and eye camper as I have experience with both. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, welcome back. And as I mentioned today, we're comparing the brands Roof Nest Rooftop Tents to iCamper Rooftop Tents. I have experience with both. And in some of the footage you're gonna see here uh, from a camp out this week with a buddy who runs an iCamper. Now in this footage, you're gonna see the SkyCamp Mini. He actually just switched from the regular SkyCamp, which is comparable to mine, which is the Roof Nest Condor XL. Uh, and he switched because he only runs two people in his setup and they had no need for the extra space and the SkyCamp Mini just fit on his bed a little bit better. But in comparing the two brands, everything still applies. And when I'm talking about the SkyCamp, I'm referring to the larger model that I had a chance to check out when he had that on his truck as well. Um, so let's jump into it. I'm gonna tell you about the differences between the two brands and why I chose RoofNest. So the number one thing is form factor. That's the first thing we're gonna talk about. The roof nest, if you see behind me, I'm on a full-size pickup truck. It's a crew cab Tundra with the five and a half foot bed. Roof nest platform fits on my truck bed and is totally flush with the end of my bumper. There's no overhang. And for whatever reason, on the iCamper, their platform is 13 inches longer, yet they have slightly less interior space than the Condor XL. I really have no idea what the purpose of that is, but I'm not a big fan of the look of the tent hanging way off the back of the bed. So that was a main point for me in choosing the Roof Nest Condor XL, is that I just think overall, aesthetically, it looks a lot nicer. All right, so let's talk about interior space while we're at it. I have some notes here. I've looked up the specs on both of these platforms and you can compare them yourself if you'd like. They're listed on iCamper's website and on RoofNest's website. Um, but talking about interior space, they're both four-person tents. They sleep comfortably four people. I've had good experience with mine. I camp with my wife and our two young boys and we all sleep with plenty of room in there. Now, the roof nest, as I mentioned, does not stick out as long as the iCamper. And the reason for that is that this end here is flush, but the fold-out portion of the tent is actually longer than the iCamper's, giving you more space. Whereas the eye camper back here runs further out this way and then the fold out portion is shorter. But if you're looking for actual dimensions, the eye camper is 44 square feet interior space while the roof nest is 47 square feet. So again, you have more space in the roof nest going long ways this way, whereas the eye camper you have more that way, but you end up having more room in the roof nest in a shorter form factor which I really, really like. When the Roof Nest and the iCamper SkyCamp are both closed, the vertical space is 13 inches, that is the same, and you have the same amount of space in headroom on the interior, is about 55 inches of space at its highest point inside of the tent. So no real differences there. Again, between these two brands, you're gonna feel about the same inside of each of them. You're talking about a difference of three square feet interior space, but if aesthetics are a thing to you and you like the shorter form factor, Roof Nest may be a good option for you. Next, let's talk about price. Price between the two options here. So the iCamper SkyCamp runs $3899, $3,900. And as I mentioned in a previous video where I do a full review of this tent, you can check that out up here. This, the Roof Nest comes with all of these accessories included that the iCamper upcharges for. And I'm not a big fan of that because they're really proud of their stuff and they charge a lot for it. So all told, if you're looking for like an annex and the shoe bags and any other accessories that go with it, you're well over four grand on that platform. Whereas the Roof Nest Condor XL comes in at $32.95 for the entire setup. That includes obviously the tent, that includes the hanging shoe bags at the bottom, that includes integrated LED lighting, both interior and exterior. That also includes a mesh sand mat that goes underneath your ladder. It's a whole package ready to go for almost $1,000 cheaper, all said and done, which to me, again, was kind of a no-brainer. 
So you may wonder if the roof nest is $1,000 cheaper and includes all this stuff, where do they cut back? Where are the differences? To be honest, I don't know. One thing you'll notice here in the footage is that the iCamper has a slightly darker fabric and I will say that it does a better job at blocking out sunlight than the roof nest. The roof nest is kind of this grayish blue. For me, that's really a non-issue because when I'm camping, I'm usually up with the sun. But if blocking out as much light as possible is really a thing for you, then maybe iCamper is the right direction for you there because it does a better job uh, at blocking out the light. Now, as far as material and thickness, I dove into both websites, iCamper and Roof Nest, and they're this poly blended cotton, so they seem very similar to me, and I found the rating for waterproofing on both of the tents, and it's exactly the same. Uh, I think they call it 3000 PU or something along those lines. Uh, they both have the same waterproofing. One thing you'll notice in terms of weatherproofing about the roof nest versus the eye camper is that the awnings on the side of the roof nest do an excellent job at blocking out both rain coming down from the top and then if it was ever windy down from the sides because they have these side flaps as well. Whereas the eye camper just has the flat canopy that goes straight out with no protection from any kind of side weather. Now to throw one to iCamper here. One thing that iCamper does include that Roof Nest does not is on the side windows, they have the silicone uh, clear window panel, whereas the Roof Nest only has mesh and the solid canvas panel. So there's obviously a difference there in what you'd be able to do with weather. You could just zip up that silicone window and you'd be good, you'd be protected from rain. Whereas in this one, you would have to lose your window and you would have to zip up the actual canopy canvas and you'd no longer have the visibility. So jumping back into the interior of these two tents, you'll, let's talk about the mattress. You'll notice in all of the groups, people talk about mattress upgrades all the time. Uh, a stat you'll find on iCamper is that they talk about their mattress being a dense foam mattress that is only 1.6 inches thick, whereas the roof nest out of the box comes with a 2.3 inch thick mattress. So it's slightly thicker. And I will say that I have not done any upgrades to the mattress. I've camped in this a number of times. Obviously I've had it for a couple months now. Uh, I think I've already been in it a dozen times over the last two months and I've never added anything to the mattress and I've slept just fine. And the added bonus of having a thicker mattress is not having to worry about upgrading your mattress. One thing that doesn't make sense to me is why you would buy a rooftop tent and then have to pull out the existing mattress and inflate those X-PED mattresses uh, which just adds to the time of the whole setup. The whole point of a rooftop tent is to get you out there quick and fast and have the setup easy. And so for me, that's kind of counterintuitive. I love the mattress in here, it's been great. Another thing we'll mention is the ladder systems on both of these tents. Now, I don't believe that the telescoping ladders are something that's proprietary to either iCamper or RoofNest. I'm pretty sure they're manufactured and they are manufactured by a number of different companies and then they just include these because they detach from the platforms and you can use them in other fashions. Anyway, for whatever reason, I don't know what it is, the roof nest ladder is so much easier to use. I'll show you a clip here of how this works. The ladder comes straight out, you drop it down into the ground, and then from the bottom, you just extend the rungs up and they all lock in place. Me and my buddy fiddled with the ladder on the eye camper the other day for legitimately 30 minutes and maybe we're just dunces and we don't know what's up from what's down but there was some issue with the ladder locking in place that just was a super pain and it doesn't work the same as the roof nest where everything collapses from the bottom up. You had to do this weird intricate system to get it to work. We finally got it locked into place, but it was a big headache. Again, that'll come with some practice, but there is a design element to the roof nest ladder that is much easier to learn and to use. And to be honest, the ladders are the most complicated part of deploying a rooftop tent. You always forget which order they're supposed to be in and getting them locked. And so the roof nest making that simple is a win for roof nest for sure. All right, guys, so let's summarize this video. I'll give you my final thoughts on the two brands. If you're talking roof nest versus eye camper, you have the Condor versus the Sky Camp. And they're very similar platforms with only a few minor differences. There's a few minor differences in how the systems are put back together. Uh, the eye camper has a little rope pulley system to pull in the sides as you're closing it, whereas the roof nest has a bungee that goes across. Very small difference. Again, not really a, a make or break point for me. Uh, the difference on the windows in the canopies is that the eye camper includes the silicone viewing window, whereas the roof nest has only the mesh um, bug screen and then the solid canvas window panels. 
but as I mentioned on these canopies here, they do such a good job of blocking out the weather on the sides that you don't really need the silicone viewing panel there. You can just use the mesh if you're wanting to keep that visibility. The other difference again is the fabric. Uh, the iCamper lets in less light than the roof nest. So if that's a big thing for you, you may wanna go that route. And then last but not least is just the form factor and the colors. I don't know if iCamper is so proud of the world map design that they have on the back kind of quilted canvas in the uh, inside the tent that they charge an extra thousand for that or what it is that makes theirs so much more expensive but there are very few differences. I like this because it's shorter and it still has more interior space than the iCamper and it's about a thousand dollars less so that's hard to beat in my mind. Let me know though, I'm curious what you guys think. Do you guys prefer the iCamper versus the roof nest, roof nest versus iCamper? Tell me why, let me know what you have or what you plan on picking up. And of course, if you have any questions about either system, I'm happy to answer them in the comments. Feel free to drop a comment below. And if this was helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. There's gonna be a lot more outdoor content like this that would help my video get out there for anybody who had the same questions as you between the two brands. Happy to answer any questions. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Over and out.